Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how to make the Legend of Zelda Triforce pattern on Google Sheets. For the official Zelda Loom instructions to make your own alpha loom pattern, you can go to this link right here. My way of doing it is very similar, so you can choose to follow either or. We're going to go to rainbowloom.com. We're going to click the second option which is instructions. We're going to click Alpha Loom on the sidebar. We're going to scroll down until you find blank template. We are going to click PDF A arrow. So we're using this to find out how many rows of alpha loom bands you will need to fit all around your wrist. You can see here that for every 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters you will need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 alpha loom bands. So first you will need to measure your wrist. You can use a tape measure or you can also use a string and then you can measure that string with a ruler and depending on the inches you multiply that number by 7. We're multiplying by 7 because we need it to fit all around your wrist. The width is what matters the most. For me, my wrist is a tiny bit bigger than 5 inches, so I'll just multiply 5 times the 7 rows, which is going to be 35, but I will add 4 more rows of alpha loom bands, so my bracelet could fit comfortably, so together that will be 39 rows. So now that we found out how many alpha loom rows we'll need, we can go back. So right next to blank template, we can go to alpha loom templates. We're going to click the PDFA arrow. This will normally open in Excel, but if you don't have Excel, you can use it with your Gmail account. So you can click open with Google Sheets. So as I mentioned, we're going to be doing the Legend of Zelda Triforce pattern. The pattern that I found is from friendship-bracelets.net. It was uploaded by the user Catherine321. It was done six years ago, so the credit goes to them. Let's get started with our pattern. The first row is going to be all black. So let's go back to Google Sheets. And then we're going to click the black cell on top. We're going to hit Control c on our keyboard. Then we're going to the first row. We're going to click and drag the whole first row. We're going to hit Ctrl V on the keyboard and that has pasted the whole row black. Our second row has six yellow cells and one black cell in the middle. We're going to click one yellow cell. We're going to hit Ctrl on your keyboard click and drag three first cells we're going to hit control V on our keyboard that has pasted the yellow color we're going to skip one cell the last three cells click and drag you're going to hit control V that has pasted the yellow color. 
Let's go back on top. We're going to click the black cell. Hit Control C on your keyboard. Click the cell. Then hit Control V. And we're done with the second row. Our third row only has two yellow cells. We're going to click the first cell. We're going to hit Control V on our keyboard. Then we're going to skip one. We're going to skip one and then click and drag three cells. We're going to hit Control V on the keyboard. two cells will be yellow. Go on top here, click Control C on the keyboard, click the second cell, Control V, and then Control V on the other cell. We're done with our third row. Our fourth row has four black cells and then three in, three yellow cells in the middle. We're going to start with the black cell. We're going to click the black cell on top. Hit Control C on your keyboard. The first two cells, Control V. We're going to skip one, two, three. Three cell, and then the last two. B to paste the black cells. So in the middle, there are three yellow cells. Let's go to our color. Control C. Click, drag the three cells, and then hit Control V. Our fifth row has only one yellow cell. So we can just find the middle here, skip one, two, three cells, and then on the fourth one, hit Control V, and it has pasted the yellow cell. So let's go back up here, hit Control, copy on your keyboard, then click drag the first. Hit Control V on your keyboard. Again, the whole sixth row is all black. Click the black cell, Control Copy the sixth row. Click and drag all of it. And then hit Control V on your keyboard. So now you have done the first track force triangle. You're going to be repeating that until you find the length that you need. I will be finished when I hit the 39th row here. So I ended up using one more row to fit the triangle, but that's okay. More room is going to be more comfortable. I will be doing a part two of this video, which is going to be me following this pattern on the exact half a loom. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook with the same name, Daily and Ordinary. Thank you guys.